Hey, what's going on, Z Nation? Zade here, ZSPN. And today, guys, we're going to be talking about the Los Angeles Lakers versus the Golden State Warriors tonight. Uh, guys, uh, you know, so far, uh, the Lakers are not doing so well when it comes to the preseason. But, you know, like as I mentioned now, it is the preseason. And the Lakers have one more game to go when it comes to finishing off the preseason. Uh, and it's going to be against the uh, Sacramento Kings. And uh, starting from next week, today... Um, you know, the regular season will begin and, you know, NBA basketball will be back uh, when it comes to the regular season. And ironically, the Lakers will be facing the Golden State Warriors uh, next week, uh, Tuesday. So uh, obviously uh, it's going to be very interesting to watch what the Lakers will bring to the table after just playing a couple games together, especially when it comes to our starting lineup from our big three uh, finally, we get to see them play with each other. And guys, I have to say, it was impressive for a bit. I mean, I have to say it was because, you know, just seeing them play with each other, I just really believe that they can bring, like, so much more to the table heading into the regular season. And uh, just really can't wait to see them dominating the NBA and uh, dominating games uh, when it comes all said and done. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a very fun season. I really can't wait for it. And... Um, and, uh, guys, when it comes all said and done, I mean, it is the preseason, uh, but, you know, I also agree with most, most, uh, Laker fans and analysts, uh, when it comes to, um, you know, having our big three play in the preseason, because obviously we need them at their best right away when it comes to the regular season. And we, we witnessed that in tonight's game. I mean, LeBron James, you know, getting his rhythm in and, you know, playing with, Russell Westbrook, LeBron James, Carmelo Anthony, and those guys. So uh, getting his fill of things with a new roster, with new players, kind of helps the uh, the motivation uh, for LeBron James to play at his best in the regular season and the rest of the Lakers uh, squad when it comes all said and done. So uh, it's really fun to see LeBron James playing tonight. I, I might be mistaken. I believe he had... Uh, 17 points out there tonight I might be mistaken but uh, he did struggle a bit when it came to the turnovers he led the Lakers tonight with six turnovers uh, but I believe it's fixable when it comes to the regular season as I mentioned guys the whole thing with Russell Westbrook turning over the ball so much um, you know as is, is the same what I just mentioned I mean it is uh, the preseason uh, he's getting his bearings in being with a new team with new players around him He's going to struggle, but, you know, it's good that he can struggle in the preseason than struggling in the regular season. So um, we all know what uh, Russell Westbrook can bring to the table when it comes to those triple doubles and, uh, you know, just bringing the uh, the scoring ability uh, to the table for the Los Angeles Lakers. And, you know, tonight's game, he had 10 points and 10 rebounds. So a very impressive performance on his part on that end. But, uh, you know, the turnovers also were struggling, but, you know, it's fixable. Same goes for LeBron James. So uh, hopefully uh, we will see a much different type of performance from Russell Westbrook heading into uh, the regular season. Um, it still remains to be seen if they will play the last game of the preseason, but, you know, it still remains to be seen about that. So, um, you know, uh, but yeah, that's... That's Russell Westbrook and LeBron James. Anthony Davis led the Lakers tonight. I believe he had uh, 20 points out there tonight. And guys, I have to say, an impressive performance from Anthony Davis. And uh, we're going to expect more from him heading into the regular season. He'll be the main focal point of the team when it comes to him uh, dominating every single night. So a very impressive performance for him. And uh, hopefully we can see some greatness out of him heading into the regular season right away. So great job out there for Anthony Davis. Um, when it comes to the rest of the Lakers squad, guys, uh, when it comes to the bench, um, you know, Carmelo Anthony, uh, you know, he played very well tonight. I have to say 13, I believe it's 13 points out there tonight. Uh, but, you know, he did struggle when it came to the shooting. But, you know, it, due to the circumstances of what the Lakers are dealing with uh, injury wise, uh, you know, he had to be inserted to the starting lineup and, uh you know, hopefully a speedy recovery for uh, most of the Lakers who are out. I believe uh, Malik Monk, hopefully he'll be ready to go once the regular season begins. Hopefully uh, that groin injury is not anything uh, too serious that will keep him out for a, a, 
a amount of a period of time. So uh, hopefully he comes back to us soon. Uh, Kendrick Dunn, I believe he, uh, it's not anything too serious. I think he'll be ready to go uh, maybe in the last game of the preseason or maybe the regular season. So it's, we just have to wait and see about that. And then, uh, guys, uh, you know, the struggling of uh, the other players from the THT and Trevor Ariza, uh, you know, they're going to be out for a, a great period of time. Uh, hopefully a speedy recovery, but, you know, hopefully, guys, uh, that happens. But, you know, judging by the reports, uh, they could be out for almost like, a month or two because of their injuries. And uh, that's why the Lakers uh, signed somebody from a two-way contract. Uh, his name escapes me for a, for a bit, but if you guys are watching this, his photo is right here. So uh, check it out. Uh, you know, he got drafted 15th overall, uh, I believe two years ago. I might be mistaken. So uh, um, I don't know. Uh, some team saw some potential in him. Personally, guys, uh, I would have rather had the Lakers... Uh, give the two-way contract to Chani Brown because, you know, uh, he has the ability to really bring uh, a lot of heat and uh, and just that motivation off the bench alongside, uh, you know, uh, Austin Reeves. Uh, those guys have the potential of really bringing a lot of force off the bench. And uh, honestly, guys, it should have gone to him. But, you know, we still have a couple of uh, weeks to go. I mean, you never know. The Lakers may somehow take one of the uh, two-way contracts and give it to him. But, you know, it still remains to be seen about that. I know that they have two already filled in, but they could potentially take that away and give it to somebody else. But, you know, it still remains to be seen about that. But uh, um, I, I believe he deserves the opportunity on this Lakers roster So uh, uh, due to injuries. So uh, having him have an, uh, an opportunity to have that two-way contract to play with the Lakers would uh, be a huge help for the Lakers uh, because of injuries. So uh, maybe it'll happen, but, you know, still remains to be seen about that. Um, but, you know, Kamala Anthony started for the Lakers. I went on this tangent, guys, excuse me, but uh, I had to put that out there so you guys will know about the circumstances of why Kamala Anthony is starting for the Lakers because of the injuries. And uh, I, I don't think it's going to be long-term, but, you know, it still remains to be seen about the health of uh, Malik Monk and uh, Kendrick Nunn. I, I I don't think it's anything too serious, but you know, hopefully they come back soon. But Carmel Anthony did play for the Lakers uh, at the starting lineup, and he had a decent performance, but he did struggle a bit when it came to shooting. But uh, hopefully that's not going to be an issue uh, heading into the regular season because I, I know Carmel Anthony can bring the heat also when it comes to that. Um, you know, other than that, guys, there's you know there's Kent Bazemore. He started for the Lakers. Uh, but, uh, you know, he did struggle a bit when it came to the foul troubles. But, uh, you know, he's still in the, the running for a potential starting role. But, you know, still may be seen about uh, what position he'll be taking. It could be the small forward or it could be the shooting guard. Uh, I think he will be more fitted, in my opinion, at the uh, small forward position, if anything. But, you know, still may be seen about... Uh, what Frank Vogel will potentially do when it comes to, you know, Kent Bazemore's uh, uh, role on the team. Uh, and we will wait and see once uh, the preseason ends and we'll see the the official starting lineup and the rotation for the team heading into uh, the regular season uh, in the next uh, couple of uh, days uh, or just until next week. So, um you know, just we just have to wait and see about that. But guys, uh, as I mentioned, when it came down to it, the bench was uh, very impressive when it came to the youth. Uh, as I mentioned, when it came comes to Austin Reeves, uh, seeing his ability to really, uh, you know, contribute to the team. And uh, guys, you know, when we were missing a guy like Alex Caruso at one point, um, we saw a bit of similarity of what Austin Reeves can bring to the table, similar to what... Uh, Alex Caruso did. I mean, we witnessed that with LeBron James passing him to the passing uh, the ball to Austin Reeves at times, and you know him making the shot from three is just um, a lot of sim similarity to that type of role. And I really believe that uh, Austin Reeves can really uh, contribute to the team in a big way, and uh, I really think he will due to now the circumstances of injuries 
uh, being occurring to the Lakers' depth. And uh, I think he's going to be contributing very much uh, more uh, heading into um, uh, the regular season. Uh, but, you know, hopefully, um, you know, we can see more greatness out of him. I'm very impressed by his performance in these past couple of games in the preseason. And uh, it's just going to be very interesting uh, what he will bring more to the table for the Lakers heading into the regular season. So uh, impressive performance from Austin Reeves. And then, guys, you know, it's just one of the uh, young players been, you know, taking over in the fourth quarter. Uh, we saw Chani Brown, I believe, as I said, he should get an opportunity to be part of the Lakers uh, regular season and uh, uh, potentially on the two-way contract. But, you know, it remains to be seen about that. Um, and then uh, you have uh, the rest uh, from the G League players uh, playing. But, you know, obviously, you know, because they're arresting uh, LeBron and Anthony Davis and Russell Westbrook and they, basically the starting line of Carmelo Anthony and stuff. So uh, fourth quarter, it was uh, kind of like a done deal. Um, but, you know, it's preseason. So obviously, if they were playing in the regular season in the fourth quarter, the Lakers would have won the game tonight. But, uh you know, that's just my own personal opinion about that. And I believe I speak for all Laker fans when it comes to that sort of notion. So, um, uh, but yeah, guys, and then you have uh, Rajon Rondo and Dwight Howard uh, playing tonight. And guys, I was very impressed by Rajon Rondo's uh, performance, being that veteran, the guy who I believe obviously got more minutes tonight because of the injuries. So uh, obviously, um, you know, he was showing a lot of presence uh, out there tonight and you know I believe he had uh, nine rebounds or ten rebounds out there tonight so the rebounding side of the ball and uh, the defensive side uh, was present in tonight's game I have to say you know the Lakers really dominated when it came to the defensive side of the ball um, but you know uh, the, the shooting still needs a bit of uh, more of a presence as well so uh Hopefully, we can see more of that from the Lakers heading into the regular season. Uh, and uh, other than that, guys, you know, it was an impressive game. Uh, much improved for the past couple of games we've been seeing. But, you know, guys, uh, you know, this is, just, this is just a type of moment where the Lakers are learning how to play well together. And the idea of them, uh, you know, not playing our, our superstars in the fourth quarter uh, kind of shows that, you know, it is the preseason for a reason that, uh, you know, we need them at, to be healthy, but at the same time, we need them to learn how to play well together so they can be ready to go in the preseason and winning games for us uh, left and right in the pre in the uh, regular season. So um, that's the whole nature of the preseason, you know, getting your bearings in, getting the rhythm in when it comes to playing with each other and, uh, you know, that's what we witnessed in tonight's game. And, uh, you know, just hopefully the Lakers will be ready to go heading into the regular season. And, guys, I really want to know your thoughts and your opinions about the Los Angeles Lakers so far. And, uh, guys, give me your thoughts about what you liked about the Lakers so far. Uh, was it the defensive side of the ball? Was it the shooting side of the ball? Uh, the chemistry of the team? I mean, I, honestly, guys, I, ha I have to say... um. I kind of like like in the defensive side of the ball. Uh, sure, as of late, we haven't been seeing a lot of uh, dominance on the defensive side, but you know it's there when it comes all said and done. We kind of kind of saw a glimpse of that in the second quarter, going into the third quarter. So uh, the defensive side is present and is really good to watch, and uh, hopefully the Lakers will be bringing more of that headed into the regular season. And uh, I just know, guys, that it's just going to be a much different type of team headed into the regular season uh, for the better. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's the preseason. We should just uh, be patient and wait for the Lakers to really show their dominance and their potential heading into the regular season. I really can't wait for that uh, next week, today. Uh, and ironically, against the Golden State Warriors on opening night. So uh, I believe it's going to be on the 18th of October. So um, really can't wait for that, guys. I'm so excited for the regular season to begin and seeing Lakers basketball once again in the regular season. And uh, uh, the goal is to win games, dominate, and uh, most importantly, the goal of mine is to win a championship 
uh, this upcoming season. And uh, really can't wait for that, guys. And I really want to know your thoughts about it in the comment section down below. Like this video, subscribe to the channel. And guys, please make sure to hit that notification bell so you will know when I upload on this channel. And of course, uh, like all of my social media sites, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at ZSPN. I'll leave the links to my social media sites in the description of this video so you guys can check out my social media sites. And of course, guys, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Go Lakers. Take it easy, guys. Stay safe out there.